Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be cash stuffing my shop income and this is my second paycheck of the month. So I'm so excited to be starting the week off with a cash stuffing from my Etsy shop. So before I get right into the cash stuffing, I'm going to be showing you guys how I split it my my paycheck. Um let's see. Okay, you guys, so this is just a quick overview of how much I am going to be adding for each um category. So I got paid $315 with some cents and I am only stuffing $315 today. And I wanted to show you guys how much money I'm taking for Etsy taxes. So I am doing 30%. Um, for supplies, I am doing 25%. And for shipping, I'm taking out 10% um, from my paycheck. And this is the amount here that I'm going to be stuffing in my... Um, envelopes and this right here are the amounts that I do have currently in each specific category so I just forgot to add here how much I have for these two for these four I mean but um, these are the amounts that I'm going to be adding the only cash envelope that I'm going to be stuffing today is self-care with five dollars so yeah you guys so this is how I broke down my paycheck I just wanted to show you guys this real quick so I'm just going to set this to the side Okay, so I am going to be stuffing one envelope from my wallet, which is self-care. So for self-care, I am adding $5 today. So let's see. For self-care, we have $20, $40, $50, and $55. So $55 so far in self-care. I believe I still have my $5 uh, for personal. This is what I stuffed last week. I have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I still have $5 because I didn't spend this money on anything yet. But I still have until Friday and see if I'm going to be spending that money or not. Um, for eating out, I have, I believe, yeah, I do have $6 left. So have to make this money stretch for the week until I get to stuff it with my part-time job income so we will see how that goes and this is just my page of notes that I do keep in my wallet this is where I do keep track of everything that I do spend throughout the month so let's see we do have some receipts here in my wallet um, I'm gonna be scanning this in my fetch rewards app if you're interested, there's a link in my description box down below where you can just scan your receipts and turn those receipts into gift cards. So that is it for my wallet. Now I am going to be moving on to my binder here. Okay, so we are not going to be stuffing bills today. Um, I saw a lot of you guys commenting on my last video that you guys would love me to add this on my Etsy shop. Of course, you will be able to choose your um, your font and your um, vinyl color. So um, I will be trying to add this to the shop maybe this week. I'll let you guys know in my community post. And if it is ready, I'm going to let you guys know in my next cash stuffing, which... Um, might be up on friday so yep i'm gonna let you guys know when i do um make this available for you guys so like i said we are um skipping bills and we will be stuffing my grandmother's envelope and my dog's envelope so for my grandmother i am adding five dollars so for my grandmother we now have 10 20 25 30 and 35 dollars so 35 for my grandma Okay, moving on to my dog's envelope. For my dog, I will be adding $5 as well. So he now has 20, 30, and 35. So $35 for him. Okay, so that will be it, you guys, for this binder. Now let me go ahead and move on to my sinking funds and my savings. So... I do have my savings here in the front and for savings I do want to add 10% of my income um, for every paycheck that I do get. So for this time I am adding $22 
And I took 10% out after taking taxes. So that's why it came out to be $22. So 20, 21, and 22. So for savings, I have 20, 40, 60, 61, 62, 63, and 64. So we are starting this envelope fresh, you guys, for the new year. Like many of you guys know, I did um, save 3500 last year. But I did want to start this envelope fresh for the new year and see how much I am able to save. So that's why we have this amount. And let me show you guys really quick my Acorns portfolio and let's see how it is doing, okay? Okay, so this is my Acorns portfolio and this right here is my performance. Um, it's This is up to date. So let's see, for the date, we went down $11.60. Um, for the month, we gained $40.64. For the three months, we gained $118.80. And for all-time high is $142.25. And this is the amount I am making right now. And let's see. I did invest $3,477 so far. So I still have some money to add in there until I reach $3,500. And this is money from my savings. So I wanted to incorporate this in my video so you guys can see um, how much I'm making in my Acorns portfolio. And this money right here, I am going to be transferring in this um, in this account as well. So I do want to update you guys on Tuesdays and on Fridays, which is where I do my cash stuffing. For month ahead, I will be adding $8 here. So 5 6 seven and eight so now for a month ahead i have five ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so fifteen dollars for a month ahead so exciting okay moving on to my car for car i decided to add fifteen dollars so ten fifteen so now for a car, I have 1,000, 2,000, 120, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. So 2,175 dollars. And this is for me to get a new car, you guys. I currently don't have a car, so I am saving money until that time comes. Um, and so I can buy a car. So that's the reason why I do have this amount. Uh, moving on to my moving envelope. It is going to get $15 as well. Okay, so now we have 1,000, 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So $1,100 for moving. Okay, my parents will be getting $5. So now they have 10, 15, 20. Okay, for Joel, I will be adding $5 as well. So now he has 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Okay, next I have my Adi envelope. And for me, I will be giving myself $2. So now I should have 55. So 20, 40, 45, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. So this is for whatever I do want to buy myself, you guys. I did purchase something off from Amazon. I purchased a nail kit of nail powder dip. I think that's what it's called. I'm not very sure, but I did want to try that out. And um, I will be unstuffing this money at the end of the month because I did purchase that with my card. And so I will need to pay myself back with this money. It was, I believe, like around $30. I'm not 100% sure about that. So we do have enough to cover that. For school, I'll be adding 5 So now school has $20, $25. Okay. Next, I have my health envelope, and this has enough money in here, I believe. Um, so I will be adding $1 from now on. 
So I have 100, 150, 170, 180, 185, and 186. So 186 for health. Okay, next for clothes. Clothes will be getting $3. So 1, 2, and 3. So now clothes has 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38. So 38 for clothes. Right now, I don't need to buy any clothes, but I am just, you know, adding money in here just in case if I do need to buy anything in the future. So, yep, we have 38 so far. So this is the envelope that I do want to focus more um, from now on. And yeah i do want to um i do want to save more money here so for gifts we will be adding a dollar so five six seven and eight so now gift has 20 25 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 and 38 so this is for any birthdays that i might have so this is where I will take the money from. Um, so yeah, I do want to save more money here. And I believe this is the last envelope we will be stuffing in this binder. Christmas, I will be stuffing this with my part-time job income only, not with my Etsy uh, paycheck. So, And electronics won't be getting anything, neither is travel. So that is it for this binder, you guys. Look how thick this binder looks already, but the only reason why is because I do have a lot of envelopes in this binder. <laughs> but yeah, now let's go ahead and move on to my glass binder here. And this is my business binder, plus um, I do keep some savings challenges right here, so yeah. For Etsy taxes, we will be stuffing $95, so... That's 50, 70, 90, and a 5 for 95. Okay, so for Etsy taxes, we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, and 135. So 135. And the reason why it, this money is low is because um, I did take the money that I saved last year because tax season is coming and we, I do need to pay taxes, so I set that money to the side, and we're starting over for this year. So that's the reason why. Um, moving on to, oh, this is my YouTube taxes. Same thing happened with this envelope. I did take everything out from here, so we can start fresh on the new year. Uh, moving on to supplies. For supplies, I am taking 25% of my income, and that was... $55 so that's going to be the last 50 and a 5 so 55 okay so for supplies they have 50 70 75 80 81 82 83 84 and 85 so 85 dollars for supplies so far okay shipping i am taking 10 percent out um which is 22 dollars so 20 21 and 22 so now we have 20 25 30 31 32 33 and 34 for shipping and i did buy a lot of uh, shipping supplies um so i'm just gonna be saving this money until i am running low um so for p.o box i am adding 40 no not 40 four dollars okay so one two three and four so i currently do have a p.o box but that is going to last for six months and then i have to renew it and i believe that costs more than a hundred dollars um so that's why i'm saving four dollars a paycheck and that should give me more than a hundred dollars in by the time that i do need to renew it so for P.O. Box, I have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and 43. So $43 so far. Okay. 
Next, I have my emergency fund savings challenge and I decided to stuff this with this paycheck and we will be doing um, $10 today. So I do have my marker here and I decided to change the color because I believe last time it was too light and you guys wouldn't be able to see it. So I am coloring $10 today. Let me color this one as well. Okay. So let's add 10. And we have 20, 30, 35 dollars. So $35 for emergency. And this bundle right here, you find it on my Etsy shop as well. And um I did complete my thousand dollars for emergency last year, and I'm just starting this fresh for the new year. So that's very exciting. Um, next, I didn't have any rollover from my $1 challenge. So far, we only have $1 in here. Um, next for savings challenge, I am deciding to stuff this um, this week with my Etsy shop income. So for this time, I am going to be stuffing, let's see, $25. So let's go ahead and find a 25 and where do i see a 25 oh i see a 25 right here okay and like i said guys i i've been working on this savings challenge um it's not done yet so once i have it finished i'm gonna let you guys know i am working on a few changes for this savings challenge but this is pretty much my 52 week savings challenge and I am trying to save $1,340 but as you can see here um, I don't know if you're able to see but I do have like a bonus here on the side um, and I believe um, if you if you stuff your bonus um, I believe the total will be $1,700. So it's up to you if you want to save this amount or if you do want to save more than that. So I thought it would be nice to add those bonuses so you guys can, you know, see if you guys want to stuff this amount or not. So it was just up to you. So I'm very excited, guys. I have stuffed two amounts so far. I'm very, very excited. Um, so let's go ahead and stuff 25 in here. So 20 and 25. So we have 20, 30, 35, and 40. So $40 for my savings challenge. Okay, so that was it, guys, for this guy stuffing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to leave your like, comment, and subscribe. And if you watch this video until the end, um, let's see, maybe you can leave me a flower emoji. It doesn't have to be a specific one. Just leave me a flower emoji and I will see who stay watching until the end. So that is it, you guys, for this cash stuffing and I will be seeing you on my next video. Bye!